In today's video, we're going to be talking about why the current team of the week should be a good investment this weekend. So just for the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be walking through the current team of the week. We're gonna be showing why it's a good investment. We're gonna be showing why last week's team of the weeks did well, when the buy points were and the sell points were. So there's three different trends we are gonna be following this week. Now, the vast majority of these players are just discard fodder. We can see everyone on the bench, you can't see, but they're basically going for 28k. We can see everyone in the main team is going for 28k, apart from Reyna, who we are going to ignore for this case. But we're going to be looking at Tony Kroos, who is SBC fodder, slightly higher rated than everyone else in the team. We've got Bruno Fernandes, which again is SBC fodder, slash a meta player. And then we've got uh, Bon Mati, who undoubtedly is a meta player. So first off, let's look at Tony Kroos' trends. Now, Tony Kroos was cheap before the Icon SBC. Uh, we can see on the, uh, I guess, Sunday morning uh, before the Icon SC came out he was about 32k after the Icon SBC came out he then went and peaked at 35k uh, he then went down again to 31k the morning after the Icon SBC came out uh, and then he's peaked up recently with the SB Icon SBC being repeatable again at 38k so 31 to 38k pretty decent on him we then see Bruno Fernandez both seen as SBC fodder and a little bit weak and he demanded and we can see on the Saturday morning or the Saturday evening sorry uh, he was 40k uh, then on the Sunday morning when Tony Kroos was relatively cheap as well, it was 42k, so actually went up a few k there. Now after the Icon SBC came out, um, he actually went down in price because I guess he was over-invested. Uh, and he's not really had a great trend, I'll be completely honest with you. He's gone like 42 to 46 at most. So that is a cheap meta player. So high, fodder, slightly high rated than everything else in the team, did well. Um, Bruno Fernandes, who again was slightly higher effort, did okay, but not as good as uh, Kroos. But the more interesting trend, I think, this week is Bon Matip. Bon Matip this week went from 300, I think down here, 300k if we pick a specific hour, which was two hours after the uh, Icon SBC came out. And she went from 300k all the way up to 370k in 24 hours as a top end meta card. So she got panic sold when the Icon and Hero SBC came out. Then after two hours of that, she had a great rebound on the Monday. We've seen this trend happen loads of team weeks in the past. And of course, we've seen it with Bon Matip. Now, she's still holding around about a 360. So she's gone 300 to 360 uh, holding in a game like 24 to 48 hours. So a really, really nice trend. So now we want, what we want to do is we want to go and see how can we mirror last week's trends into this week. So the first thing we're looking at is going to be, okay, do we have any high rated fodder? Now, the problem is we've got one, two, three, four, four 88s who are SBC fodder, or at least should become a SBC fodder. So sadly, I don't think the Tony Crows player can really come in. So then what we've got is we've got low rated meta. Now, Donnarumma. Now, even though I've just said that, um, what's it called? Bruno Fernandez didn't do very well uh, as a low rated fodder. Donnarumma is actually favorite to do well. And the reason for that is goalkeepers do really well out of packs. There's Donnarumma out of packs, and of course here he's far exceeding what Fodder's costing. And the reason for this is because we've seen a lack of promo goalkeepers. Now we're not going to see any promo goalkeepers next week unless they're an SBC, and we should get a week of pre-team of season. So basically we shouldn't see any promo goalkeepers for two weeks, and as a result I do think Donnarumma is going to be a good buy. When are we going to look at buying him? Now it's a bit of a hard one, because we might get an icon SBC this Sunday, and Donnarumma is probably close to going down to SBC Fodder. So I would say your buy time on Donnarumma is going to be Saturday evening and Sunday morning. I'd say then you're going to hold on to him for two weeks and sell him before most consistent team of the season comes out. Now, shorter term sales on him will be to go and sell him if he goes up with the Icon SBC on Sunday or to go and sell him the following weekend league. Uh, so again, we'll be buying him this Saturday evening, Sunday morning and selling him the following Friday evening, Saturday morning for basically people buying for weekend league. That'd be a slightly shorter uh, term if you didn't want to invest in him for long. Now, who could be compar comparable to Bon Matip? That'd be Rafael Leal and Ronaldo. Now, what's quite interesting is Rafael Leal only received a team of the week three weeks ago. So let's have a little look at what those trends were on Rafael Leal. We can see that he was the cheapest uh, Monday. Now, just because he's the chips on Monday doesn't mean it wasn't Sunday evening. Uh, Sunday evening being cheap carries through to Monday, and because Sunday evening carries through to Monday, it means that 
even though, yes, Sunday is more expensive here, that's on average of the whole day, whereas in the evening he could have been significantly cheaper. Um, and then what we saw him go 210, and then by the, well, I guess the following weekend league, he went from 210 to 230, which is an okay rise. It's not overly amazing. Um, but because he'll be, because this week we've got Golzo or Galasso, and the following week we should get a no promo, because there'll be no promo, he should perform a little bit better as long as he doesn't get replaced by an Evo. So I'd look at maybe selling him, if you want to play it very safe, Friday before 6 p.m. in case he gets replaced by an Evo. If not, you can go and sell him Friday evening after 6 p.m. Uh, because again, he should go up as people buy weekly teams and there should be nothing impacts next Friday. Same follows through with Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo is, actually is his first team of the week. Should be the same trend as uh, Bon Matip and what we expect to happen with Rafael Liao. Well, we're going to go and buy him Sunday around about 10 p.m. Uh, after the Icon SBCs and then we're going to go and sell him Friday before 6 p.m. if you're worried about him being replaced by an Evo. If not after 6 p.m., uh, you know, if you're happy to gamble on him not being replaced by an Evo. The reason I talk about Evos is because very often we do get Evos on a Friday. So obviously, Jao Felix is someone I recommended recently as an investment. We recommended buying him literally at min price and 80. He went 80 all the way up here to 90. So again, not a bad rise. I mean, 91 peaking, but you know, you would have been able to sell him for 90 quite happily. Uh, meaning he would have made like 6k a card. Well, we can see it wasn't the Friday Evo, it was the Saturday Evo. So it's like Saturday midday, he went down to break even. But it was after Saturday's Evo came out where he went from 85 and then went all the way down there, uh, panic being, being panic sold for the Sunday content. He's rebounded actually all the way back up to 80k since, so it just shows he had good demand. But um, yeah, that's why you got to play it quite careful when it comes to going into 6pm and days because it's a little bit of a, are we going to get an Evo this Friday that crashes a lot of players? Again, if you want to gamble that, yeah, we will. Sell them before 6pm. If not, you gamble and hold on until after 6pm. Again, the weatherman doesn't control the weather. I don't control if there's going to be Evos that are going to replace the players. It's down to you if you want to gamble 6pm uh, on the Friday and gamble 6pm on the Sunday. Saturday, sorry. Because if we don't get stuff that replaces them, they don't go down. If we do get stuff that replaces them, they do go down. Quite simple. But uh, that should wrap that up. Again, the Ronaldo and the Liao by Sunday evening. Going to go and sell uh, Friday either before 6pm or after 6pm. And then with the Donnarumma, because he'll also be SBC fodder, you're going to go by Saturday evening slash um, Sunday morning. Goalkeepers can't get Evo, so you don't have to worry about Friday. You can just go and sell him Friday evening, Saturday midday, because goalkeepers can't get Evo, so he's not going to get replaced by an Evo, making him a little bit safer, I guess. Um, or you can go and sell him the following week because he should rise for another week, or you can go and sell him if he rises nicely for an icon SBC. That should wrap that out. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.